Oh, it's been a good old week. We've got the viewer competition results, Justin Bieber, and a Gemma Collins skating exclusive, just for you, right here. This is gonna be a good one. Are you ready for it? Yes, we are cracking on. We are cracking on with the skating. Gemma is coming along great. We had a fantastic week of training. Have a look at this. This is an exclusive. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I'm with Matt and we have been skating all morning and we've had a brilliant session and I couldn't have the most bestest teacher in the whole wide world. Oh, mwah. I love you. I love how hard you're working. We're both sweaty messes today. Sweating. And at one point, I snotted all over her. And um, <laughs> yeah, we won't say what I did. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep that a secret. All right. This week was the anti-bullying week here in the UK and I am a huge supporter of this charity. I brought along a guest with me as we went to the gala performance of Jamie the Musical, or also as it's known, everybody's talking about Jamie. It was an absolutely fantastic evening. So here's the lovely Alex. Yay! We just finished watching Everybody's Talking About Jamie. How was it? Amazing, just goosebumps and blown away. Such an incredible I'm bawling show. my eyes out actually, don't take me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We both were like, I had snot bubbles at one point. Yeah, it's an incredible show. Yeah, make sure you go see it. Mwah. If you haven't. The performances were incredible. Michelle Visage, not sure if you know who she is, but you should. She's from Drag Race. She's done a bunch of competition shows here in the UK, but she plays the teacher in the musical. And after I tweeted her, this is what happened. I opened up my phone and I was in absolute shock. I am a massive fan of Michelle and all of the advocacy work that she does across many different boards. She's an incredible human being. I gotta say she was fantastic in this performance. I didn't know she could sing. And I also got to meet the real Jamie. Yes, he was there, Jamie himself, who the show is all about. And something that I absolutely love, in case you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, you should, but my favorite Snapchat filters are back. Snapchat, you have outdone yourself with this one. Girl. <laughs> well, that's more like it. I'm just about to go to bed, but hey, I just want to say, Miss Gemma Collins, girl, you better get ready. We on the ass tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And I am gonna work you. So last week's episode, I got into a little bit about the midterm elections that happened in the States last week. All about how the change, or a change, is a coming. We have two main parties in the United States, the Democrats and the Republicans. There are a couple smaller ones, uh, but these are the two main sort of deciding parties within our government especially within the elections. And look at the differences in the parties. Now, these are all the newly elected government officials, the Republicans and the Democrats. Do you see something wrong? Do you see how the Democratic Party is progressing? Where we need to be going as a society, where we need to be going as a world? Equality, being diverse? Come on, Republicans, honestly? All right, that's enough with the boring politics. Now the story of the week seems to be that Haley, Justin Bieber's new wife, has officially changed her name to Bieber on Instagram because that's the legal way to do it, right? But yes, she on Friday actually changed her official Instagram name to Haley Bieber. Fantastic, I'm happy for the both of them, but do you see something odd in this photo? The two of them seem to be morphing into the same person. What is up with these celebrity couples just wanting to become each other? It's weird. Congratulations, but weird, weird. And if you guys have me on Facebook, you will have seen that I am going to be running a competition every week for the shout outs. If you share this post, if you like this post, if you comment on this post, and do all of the above, I'm gonna be giving you a shout out. This week's competition viewer winner is, drum roll please. I'm not quite sure because I didn't look at Facebook before I started recording this, so I'll be right back. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Sarah Armitage from Nuneaton. You are Nuneaton? Nuneaton. Not eating? No. Warwickshire. 
Sarah Armitage from Nun Eaton, you are this week's winner. Congratulations. I'm sending you a virtual kiss and a virtual hug. And thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And just thank you for being you. All right, so make sure you guys follow me on all of the socials, the Instagram, the tweets, the Facebookers. And if you are on Facebook, make sure that you follow my official page, which is right here. Yeah, so you can uh, keep up to date. I'm gonna run another competition next week. And as we get closer to Christmas, maybe there will be some prizes involved as well. You never know. So do it. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe. Hit that play button. Hit that follow button. Do what you gotta do to stay in the know. And last but not least, you guys, I cannot contain my excitement. I'm literally shaking in my boots over here. I'm a Celebrity is back on again. If you guys followed my blogs last year, you, I just spit actually, that was quite attractive. If you guys followed my blogs last year, you would have seen all of the stuff that I did. They're actually still on my page so you can go back and watch them from last year, but I am so excited to get this series underway. I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here! All right, well, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will be right back here this time next week. You're gonna be right there. Share these videos, subscribe, do your thing. The more people we can get involved in these mat chats and my little party for one, the better, the better. So I will see you guys next week.